more sir good morning hello hello okay we're going to be doing a, this is sunday june june 23rd anyhow it's, uh, it's uh, mid to late june <coughs> we're going to be doing a study i'll be using my daughter's bible today who is uh, now gone off to university this was uh, Given to my daughter, and, uh, and uh, it's interesting that this is one you know, of the few or only gold Bibles I've ever found. I don't know why it was made in gold. This is a, a King James version, of course. And it's, uh, it's, uh, translated out the original tongues, authorized King James version. Authorized King James Version, yeah. With all the proper names divided into syllables, accented and marked with the vowel sounds showing how they should be pronounced. Interesting. It's a self pronouncing edition, but it is a world publishing company, which I don't think is in business anymore. I don't know what happened with them. Probably maybe they wanted to stick to the King James, and I don't know what happened to them. But the manufacturer in the United States of America, I guess most Bibles are printed in China now, but I think there's still some publishers in the U.S. But I just wanted to quickly go with this book to Job 23, 6 I think it is, Job 23, and our, our study today is going to be First Attention, they're going to be calling it First Attention, Job 23, But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. So actually, I, I prepared this uh, teaching for, for my daughter, Deante, and, uh, and uh, I wanted to uh, use her, her Bible to, to teach it because uh, she didn't fit in her suitcase. She had too much stuff when she went off to university. And so I'll just uh, let, her, let her see on YouTube. But her Bible, I marked all the key scripture verses that was kind of important. She may need to turn to it one day. She needs a quick reference. And uh, we'll talk about that in a study one day. Uh, Job, and then we're going to go to Zechariah 13.9. Zechariah 13.9. Dr. Mike Nehemiah Habakkuk and Zachariah. Zachariah 13 9. 13. Hello, Kusha. Kusha. Oh, oh, Kusha. Zachariah 13 9. Kusha. Kusha. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will bring the, the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call upon my name. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. So, in that day, when people are being tried, believers are being tried, they will call upon his name, and he will hear them. Hmm. Interesting. And I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. And then we'll go to 1 Peter 1.7. 1 Peter 1.7. 1 Peter. Uh, 
123 is one of the key scriptures, uh, but we'll read that in a second. Uh, 1 Peter 3, 1 Peter 1, 7. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Gold perishes? Absolutely. Your gold will rush, rust. Your gold, uh, some of the gold and, and silver carries radiation, a lot of radiation. Book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 12. Then we're going to go to the book of James, and we're going to see about the gold. We're going to see about the gold, the gold and silver. The verse of James, and it fits right into this, and you'll see why. Go to James 5.3, uh, I think it's James 5.3, yeah, James 5.3. That'll be by the back, by the back of your Bible there, James 5, 3. Is your gold and silver is cankered. You notice that word cankered? Every time that word canker is mentioned in the Bible, it's talking about sickness. It's talking about some form of sickness. And it's interesting that they, the sickness that almost everyone's getting is cancer. And it's so close to that word. That's very interesting. And the rest of them shall be a witness against you. You mean your gold and silver is going to rust? Gold, silver tarnishes, but gold doesn't rust. As a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. So gold and silver is going to eat your flesh when it touches. It's going to eat your flesh. Which is exactly the same thing that happened to the guy that had the accident in the Manhattan Project in New Mexico. You see, it started going into critical mass right there. They all would have blown themselves up. And what he did is he hit it with his hand. Choom! To stop the critical mass. There was a big lead shield in front of him. He reached over the lead shield and he hit that critical, the, 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 the two plutonium and uranium joining together. He hit it with his hand to knock them apart. And his hand actually melted. Hmm. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Now this is interesting because almost five billion people are already dead. Where's his treasure company? He took everyone, they take everyone's gold and silver. Take all the gold and silver. Probably got it out of the banks and the vaults too. So they got all this gold and silver. And the scripture saying this gold and silver is going to eat your flesh as if it was fire. Well, let's look at why. Well... In nuclear reactors or other env environments with significant neutrons, where there's significant neutrons there, gold becomes activated by radioactive capture. Gold captures radioactivity. You see? And so does silver, to an extent. Uh, and of course, silver captures gold, and, and we see that in fire assay every day. Now, gold is susceptible to this phenomenon due to the consequences of its high atomic number. So, gold absorbs x-rays and radioactive substances. That's why you can't wear it when you get a CAT scan or you go for an x-ray. You've got to take your jewelry off. It absorbs x-rays and radioactive substances because it has lots of electrons. So electrical conductivity in metals is a result of the movement of electricity in the charged particles. And the best way to describe that is like the transfer of energy. You, you, you got a pool table, you're going to pay pool, and you hit that ball, that white ball, choom, and it goes into another ball, choom, if it hits it direct, the chain reaction is just choom, all that energy is transferred into the second ball. And if you hit the ball, depending on how you hit the white ball, if you hit it towards the bottom, that ball stops, that 
immense entire energy is transferred to the second ball and it moves just as fast as the white ball and the white ball stops and stands still. Now of course if your white ball hits multiple balls when you're on a break, uh, break it means breaking the balls, it, they, of course the energy transfer is much smaller but it's divided all over the whole table and breaks all the balls up. So it's a perfect way of describing what's hap what happens here. Now how dangerous was radiation to us in the past? Well all we've got to do is look at the radium growth. If you're ever on YouTube type in radium growth. Radium growth. Because we used to make, well, I, I used to own watches. You, when I had one of your grandfather's watches, which got stolen in a break in two. It had the radium in it. And the radium girls were the girls that actually painted that radium on the dials. And uh, I talked about that in another study. Maybe I'll insert a clip into here. But yeah, your, your gold's going to per perish. Though it be tried with fire, it's still going to perish. Though it be tried with fire. Uh, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, so we're going to go on to our study, which is first attention. First attention, and the first scripture we're going to be going to is 2 Corinthians 4 4 for that. So if you want to turn there now, 2 Corinthians 4 4. 2 Corinthians 4 4. And, uh, for current events, the Alaskan government uh, just opened a prayer meeting this last Tuesday, uh, invoking Satan. Yes, invoking. And uh, uh, with a Hail Satan prayer. With a Hail Satan prayer. And a couple of years back, I, I, I posted on YouTube uh, that uh, they also did a, a Hail Satan prayer, sort of a Hail Satan prayer, and, and, and there's a bunch of uh, rebuttal for it. We're going to begin today's meeting. Uh, with an invocation. And if you can, please stand for the invocation. Instead of bowing their heads, some are raising an eyebrow at the idea. Councilman Sal DeCicio raising the red flag on Twitter. Well, I think it's just stupid sometimes to be politically correct. And this, is, and it, this one fits that category. And had a stop. But now they've gotten the power and the uh, 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 go ahead from the courts to go ahead and have their Hail Satan prayers. We'll now have an invocation by Iris Fontana from the Satanic Temple. You may either remain standing or be seated, and no one's required to participate. Please come forward. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. Let us stand now, unbowed and unfettered by arcane doctrines born of fearful minds in darkened times. Let us embrace the Luciferian impulse to eat of the tree of knowledge and dissipate our blissful and comforting dis delusions of old. Let us demand that individuals be judged for their concrete actions, not their fealty to arbitrary social norms and illusory categorizations. Let us reason our solutions with agnosticism in all things, holding fast only to that which is demonstrably true. Let us stand firm against any and all arbitrary authority that threatens the personal sovereignty of all or one. That which will not bend must break, and that which can be destroyed by truth should never be spared its demise. It is done. Hail Satan. Thank you. Ma'am Clerk. In the, in, the, in the Congress, in the government meetings in Alaska, and uh, anyhow, the last the last uh, meeting, this last uh, meeting on Tuesday uh, at the Alaskan uh, government was uh, was uh, dedicated to a hill, hill to Satan. Comforting the delusions of old. 
Let us demand that individuals be judged for their concrete actions, not their fealty to arbitrary social norms and illustrious categorization. Let us reason our solutions with agnosticism in all things, holding fast only to that which is demonstrably true. Let us stand firm against any and all arbitrary authority that threatens the personal sovereignty of all or one. That which will not bend must break, and that which can be destroyed by truth should never be spared to lie. It is done. Hail Satan. Thank you. Uh, now, what do they call it? Uh, a prayer. A prayer dedicated to Satan sends people filing out of a meeting. And to use reason, logic, science, and compassion to create solutions for the greater good of our community. It is done. Hail Satan. Because the actual, when you look on the internet, it says the Alaskan government meeting opens with Hail Satan prayer. Why do they call it a prayer? Same reason a lot of Christians today, Christians today, unfortunately, pray. And they're praying to the same God, the God of this world. And I'm going to show you that. 2 Corinthians 4 4. 2 Corinthians 4. Hey, Chicky, come. Come. Come, 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 come. Push up. Push up. Oh, push up. Oh, oh. Push up. Push up. Ah, ah, okay. Come, you have to come up here. We're having a, we're having a teaching. Come up here. Good girl. So 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. They're blinded. Just like modern Christians are also invoking prayers. Note, and and notice, notice the believe not. The believe not here. Uh, the believe not them which believe not. Believe not in what? Not only they not believe in Jesus, not believe that this is this pure, perfect, preserved, infallible word. The King James Scriptures. That's right. Christians that don't believe that, believe not. And, and, and they're getting the same penalty uh, as, as these uh, Hail Satan people. They're serving the same God, the God of this world. It's hid to them that are lost. It, but if our gospel be hid, we looked at verse 3, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to, hid to them that are lost. You know that most Christians, they don't even know the gospel. Don't even know what the gospel is. You ask them what the gospel Oh, that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They don't know the gospel. They don't know the gospel they're supposed to be spreading. <clears throat> uh, verse 5, For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. But notice how all these ministries, Kenneth Copeland Ministries, uh, Steve Ramey Ministries, uh, they all call themselves by their own name. We preach not of ourselves. Don't call them their ministries by the... This ministry, if you want to call it a ministry, what I'm doing here, this teaching, these teachings, they all belong to Jesus Christ. I'm not going to put my name or attach my name to them. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm just his servant. We're to glorify God, not our names. So, uh... Now, I'm, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. This is Soldanta, Soldantna, Alaska. A satanic temple member who won the right to open regional Alaskan government meeting, open a regional Alaska government meeting, declared Hail Satan during her first invocation, prompting about a dozen officials and attendees to walk out. Today's invocation, I want you to remember that word, invocation. Today's invocation that started the meeting of the Kenai Peninsula Borough also spurred a protest outside the Southern Alaska Borough's administration building that drew 40 people. The Peninsula, Peninsula Clarion newspaper reported protesters held signs saying, Reject Satan and his works and no Jesus in his love. No Jesus in his love? So these are apparent Christians doing this protesting. Unfortunately, these Christians uh, that protested uh, are just as lost as these, uh, this uh, Hail Satan satanic member. Why do I say that? Because they say here, no Jesus and his love. That love that they're talking about 
They're talking, oh yeah, love Jesus, love Jesus, greet each other when you come to church, love Jesus. No. My love, those whom I love, I rebuke and chase him. They don't know God's true love. God's true love, man, he's, 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 he's going to take a paddle and give us a good one when we do something wrong or we don't follow his words. <clears throat> and then go to 2 Corinthians uh, 11, 4. I want you to see that. 2 Corinthians 11, 4. 2 Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11, 4. Oh, but first I wanted to go to that key scripture, I promised you there. Is Second uh, Corinthians six seventeen to eighteen. Well, corrupt Second uh, Corinthians two seventeen should be a key scripture. For there are not for we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God in the sight of God speak we in Christ. You know they took that word corrupt. They took it out of the New Bible version. And they called it sale or market or all kinds of uh, wicked things, including in Dutch Bibles. They took that word, their prop, it's not there. But very interesting, I found a Dutch Bible from 1604, before the Staten Telling is written, written. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be taking, I bought that Bible and uh, it, it'll be coming uh, on my next container. And we're going to take a good look at that and what happened. It's the 1611 Staten Telling translators and all the subsequent Dutch Bibles corrupted words God severely. But we'll take a look at that. Uh, and then we were going to uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. See, it's another Jesus they're teaching you. They're, geez, they're, 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 they're uh, what did they say here? Uh, uh, Reject Satan and his works. They, the first test was held up signs. Reject Satan and his works and know Jesus and his love. That's another Jesus. They're talking about another Jesus. Not, not this Jesus. In the King James Scriptures, they're talking another Jesus. In the 2 Corinthians 11, 4, we see that. Uh, 11, 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Now, I told you to keep an eye on that word invoke, uh, today's invocation. Keep an eye on that word, because Billy Graham always invoked. There was invoke prayers. So when he went to football games, all day, he would invoke a prayer. And a lot of pastors today invoke prayers. Even in churches, in, in, in the church buildings, they're talking about a, a prayer invocation. What is that? Now we're ready for the invocation to be given today by Billy Graham. Today, the five blessing will be upon this game. We pray for both sides that not only will we exhibit great sportsmanship, but that we will remember that there's a greater game in life. And that is a game for keeps. And we pray that every one of us will rededicate ourselves not only to God, but to the principles that made this country great. What is that prayer invocation? It's not in the scriptures. At least, as the word invocation. And, and, and many Christians today invoke prayer just, just the same way Billy Graham did. Chicky, come Chicky. Come on. Come on. Come, go ship. Yeah, Billy Graham was in both prayer. But, uh... During the invocation, Satanic Temple member Iris Fontana said, that which will not bend must break, and that which can be destroyed by truth should never be spared as demise. It is done. Hail Satan. Just wicked. Absolute wickedness in the, to the highest levels of the government now. Oh, also on the uh, war end, a large expensive military drone was just shot down over over Iran. سرنگون کردن هواپیمای جاسوسی آمریکا حامل یک پیام آشکار واضح قاطع سریع سریح و دقیق بود و آن اینکه مدافعان 
مرزهای میهن اسلامی ایران در مقابل تعرض هر بیگانه ای به این سرزمین اکسون عملها و واکنش های قاطع تمام کننده Well, it wasn't actually overran. It wasn't in Iranian airspace, but they shot it down, uh, which almost sparked a nuclear conflict. I mean, Iran unveiled a new air defense system capable of targeting fighter jets and drones. The system, called 15 Horat, was shown on state media. Iran's defense minister says it has a range of 45 kilometers and can track up to six targets simultaneously. It comes with tensions high between Iran and the United States after the U.S. pulled out of the nuclear deal last year and restored sanctions. International monitors say there's no evidence Iran broke its obligations. Uh, the president of America, uh, the Trump guy, he, he was uh, ready to go in there. He had ordered the attack already. I think he pulled it back at the last minute. And it drove the price of gold up significantly. So gold went up to, I think, $1,415 an ounce just temporarily. Then it rested at $1,399 over the weekend. But uh, I would say that gold's going to hit five or six thousand dollars, and uh, that's that's pretty much definite that conflict escalates anymore. But it's going to it's going to go there anyhow because gold's uh, way past due to go up. So even though it's going to perish, it's likely a good temporary investment. So uh, anyhow, the U.S. prepared for they prepped for airstrikes on Iran before the approval was withdrawn by President Trump. I think probably Iran made a mistake. I would imagine it was a general or somebody that made a mistake in shooting that drone down. And fortunately, that drone was unarmed. It was not — there was no man in it. And there was no — it was just — it was over international waters, clearly over international waters. But we didn't have a man or woman in the drone. We had nobody in the drone. It would have made a big difference, let me tell you. It would have made a big, big difference. But uh, I have a feeling — I may be wrong, and I may be right, but I'm right a lot — I have a feeling that it was a mistake made by somebody that shouldn't have been doing what they did. I think they made a mistake. And I'm not just talking to co — the country made a mistake. I think that somebody under the command of that country made a big Are mistake. You're talking to Iran's leadership. Let's just see what happens. You just let's see what happens. It's all going to work out. So you're you're like, like there are members of your administration who want Say it. To? Are you saying you think it wasn't intentional to strike the drone? I don't know. I, I find it hard to believe it was intentional, if you want to know the truth. I think that it could have been somebody who was uh, loose and stupid that did it. But we'll be able to report back, and you'll understand exactly what happened. But it was a very foolish move. That I can tell you. Uh, but this is something — this is a new wrinkle. This is a new fly in the ointment, what happened shooting down the drone. And uh, this country will not stand for it. That I can tell you. Thank you very much. So they had already prepped for it. So anyhow, we're going to first attention now. So in life, there are many things that will be competing with your attention. And your attention needs to be in the Word of God. Even if you can just do it for five minutes a day, do something for Him. Read His words. Read a little bit of His Word. Start with a little bit and just move your way into wherever he leads you. You want me to elevate her head? Where is the police? Sure, we can use this. I don't know, he's the nurse. Whatever you need. Somebody can help direct traffic. The guy blocked it off. The devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. 
the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire.